today is a video all about our kids' favourite toys and the toys that I can depend on to keep them happy for at least long enough for me to have a nice hot coffee. I'm really passionate about independent play and I do believe certain toys encourage that versus others. So obviously we've got boys, so these toys are probably skewed towards males, but equally I feel like they would work just as well for girls. But I would love to hear tips on your favourite girls' toys, and I reckon they probably are a little different. Also, I'm really, really keen on the boys not having their own toys, so they know that all the toys they own are shared, so I really try and avoid any kind of, like, oh, this is my toy, no, that's my toy. All the toys belong to both of them. We also get lots of toys from charity shops, Charity shops are an amazing place to find beautiful toys. Oh, and the other thing I want to say is that the kids do watch TV. There'll be like a window during most days where they watch a little bit of TV, either just like at the beginning of the day or the end of the day just to calm down. So, let's get started. So the first toy I want to talk about is pretty much the king of our house, and I'm sitting right here amongst loads of it, and that is wooden train sets. Jack and Sunny play with the trains for, and I'm not exaggerating, probably about two to three hours a day, to the point where I'm like, how can you play with a train set for so long? So we get our wooden train set from a place called Big Jigs, which is an online store. Um, they're amazing and they have so many different types of wooden train set. We started off with the original sort of eight shaped train set, but what's so cool about these wooden train sets is that you can keep adding. So they have loads of accessories. So for example, we've got this little dinosaur that picks up the trains, we get loads of extra track and keep growing the train set as the kids get older. It can just keep getting bigger and bigger. And I love that, that it doesn't get old because it can just keep getting more exciting. You can keep adding bridges or little stations. There's so many additions you can make to it. The other cool thing about Big Jigs is that they support smaller local toy shops. So they'll supply those as well. We literally don't go anywhere without a couple of wooden trains. The boys just love them. So the second toy that the kids love isn't really a toy, which is kind of why I love it as well, and that is simply cleaning products. Obviously not actual proper adult cleaning products, but I just got this old e-cover bottle, filled it up with water, and sometimes a little bit of fairy liquid if I want to get them excited by some bubbles, and then I just use this little cloth, and this keeps Sunny happy for so long, and obviously it doesn't matter if it goes anywhere, slash can be vaguely helpful, and also I try and encourage them to help me tidy up after breakfast and wipe the table and stuff. So yeah, really simple one, but just giving the kids their own cleaning products is a winner. So, the next toy that I'm going to talk about, again, isn't really a toy per se, but it's something super cool. I love these. These are by a brand called Mindful Kin and it's basically a set of 20 cards. On each card is like a mindful based activity but obviously geared towards kids. Some of them kind of ask bigger life questions and others of them are just really cute little tasks to do. Basically trying to encourage kids to be a bit mindful and just be in the present. These are the kind of cards I'll pull out when everyone's feeling a little bit frantic or whatever and I just want to kind of ground and calm the kids down a little. For example, so um, imagine you are a bird flying. With each in-breath, slowly raise your arms and with each out-breath, lower them like wings gently flapping. You can practice this with eyes closed to focus on your breathing. Just really sweet little activities that I love doing with the kids. Let's lay them out. Was that a blue one? Which one do you want to pick? Mm. That one. What Lie is... down and squeeze, then relax one part of your body at a time, starting with your toes. <laughs> okay? Lie down. On your back. Okay, the next toy I'm going to talk about is definitely not a toy, and that is this knife. So, I don't know, maybe you guys have seen, but Jack and I do a lot of cooking together, and... Um, whilst I try and be relaxed about knives and sharp objects, I generally tend to get too relaxed. So when I saw this very cool kids but proper cooking like chef's knife, I really couldn't resist it. It comes with this very cool like finger guard. Jack puts his finger there and this bit basically protects his other fingers when he's chopping. It's also like a really decent sharp knife and it now means that Jack and I can do cooking together and he can really, really get involved and can feel a lot more comfortable about him being safe doing so. That's good, Jack. This is by a brand called Opinel, but we get a lot of our toys and we got this toy from a company called Conscious Craft. 
who are gorgeous. I met them a couple of months ago. They are a husband and wife run team. They're based down in Ashwood Forest. They have a website full of the most lovely toys. A lot of them encourage imaginative play. Others encourage more like practical play, like these kind of things. Have loads of toys that I think are super good quality and will last for ages. Like I feel like this is gonna be in our family for a long time. So definitely check them out, especially if you wanna grab yourselves a knife. <laughs> the next toy the kids love is sticker books. Okay, not the most original, but I kind of discounted sticker books. I don't know why. But they are amazing and occupy the kids for so long. Especially if we're traveling somewhere, I will always take a sticker book for the kids. I don't know, there's just something about the combination of peeling off the stickers and then being able to stick them anywhere and make up little worlds. And so yes, sticker books are a winner. Okay. Another thing that our kids love, and maybe this is more geared towards boys, are ramps. They have two different wooden ramps and Jack got one of them on his first birthday and still, now he's coming up to four, absolutely loves it. Sunny too. I think it's the motion. You can basically put anything down a ramp as well. So we've been known to put cloths down the ramp, obviously cars down the ramp. So yeah, I would definitely recommend if you've got a little boy, especially to try and get them some sort of ramp. The next thing I want to talk about is more geared towards a slightly older child and that is figurines of any sort. So Jack at the moment loves anything where he can like explore and make up worlds. He's very very into imaginative play so he absolutely loves dinosaurs and has loads that we got given from his cousin like a massive bag full which is amazing. So he plays with dinosaurs for ages. If they have a turn they need to be lined up. Where's the other triceratops? Oh, there it is. Yeah. The other thing he loves are these little toys, which. Oh, we've lost one of the legs. Um, this. And oh, we've lost one of those legs as well. These are by a brand called. Play and Chalk. I've talked about them before, and they're really, really sweet. They come. Let me show you. This is what it looks like packed. It's a little cardboard box. It's all made out of totally recyclable cardboard as well. And in each box is a little toy that the child has to assemble themselves, but it's super simple. It's just three pieces. And there's also a really delicious little organic chocolate in there as well. This is a great toy for if you're traveling or if you just kind of need like a quick fix to entertain your kids, I would definitely recommend one of these. The next toy that the kids love, and this is perfect I find for both ages, so Sunny and Jack both love it, is the balancing cactus. So I've got some parts of it here, it's beautiful, it's this wooden balancing cactus. The kids both love it for different reasons, Sunny loves just putting the little parts together and Jack loves playing with it properly to try and get it to balance. This one as well from Conscious Craft, but the brand, and I could talk about this brand forever, they're called Plan Toys and they are wonderful. They're based in Thailand and it's more than just a brand, it's like a whole community and kind of like lifestyle they've created around the brand. Everything is made from rubber wood and it's all super sustainable. It's just the whole story of the brand is beautiful. They do deforestation projects, they help mothers of children with special needs, they run classes and courses, they're super educational based. Like seriously go and look up plan toys, they're amazing. The last and final toy I want to talk about, and this is just an obvious one, but book. In particular, audiobooks we've recently discovered. It's very, very cool that you can put on an audiobook and just entertain your child without having to use any screens or anything, and just the story and the voice is enough. It's so nice. If Jack's feeling tired but doesn't want to sleep, I just put on an audiobook for him and it kind of calms him. We use audiobook.com, I think. I can't remember, I'll link to them below. Also, Jack now will read anything or try to read anything from like instructions to manuals to, yeah, whatever. So that's it guys, those are our sort of must have toys in our household. All children are different, but hopefully this video has been a little bit helpful or inspiring to try and give you some ideas, especially if you're looking for some new things. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, check out my blog. Otherwise, I will see you next time, bye.